Hey everybody, Jeff Teague here. What's this look like in low light? It's the Genesis G70 2024 in Bond Silver. I mean, wasn't it 80s hit artist Corey Hart who once said, I wear my sunglasses at night, so I can, so I can. And I think he was talking about this one right here, the 24 G70. This beautiful matte color, it's a $1,500 upcharge. Beautiful paint. It's tough. Boy, is it sporty. That is amazing. And you can see the dark chrome outlines even at low lighting. Boy, those Canadian geese, they are excited about this G70. Look, 19 inch wheels, Brembo braking system. That is a hot car. Smoking hot, as a matter of fact. So let's walk around here. We can see the LED lights, the license plate light. What about lights inside? And what about backing up? We love the G70. Let's see if we can back that bleep up. Back that bleep up so you can see what the reverse lights look like. We'll get some turn signals, some hazard lights. It's all gonna be going on. So here we go. Back that bleep up. Back that bleep up. Okay, get our brake lights. And then I think it's probably important to get some turn signals going on here, my friends. And then another turn signal going on, my friends. And then put it in park, the flashers. Ho! Oh, probably at nighttime, this is gonna be the hardest thing to see is I don't have a good way to show. Boy, those lights show up really nice though. Boy, the geese are everywhere. You're taking up our space, Jeff. Actually, there's a lake right by me. Here we go, turn signal indicator, that's cool. We should really see what the puddle lamps look like when we walk up to the vehicle. That is a thing of beauty, my friends. Super thing of beauty, as a matter of fact. Turn signals, boom, in your face. Let's see, what's gonna be the coolest thing to show here? See if I can get our puddle lamp going. There it is, there it is. What's it gonna say? Yeah, you guessed it, Genesis. Phil Collins and the gang, right there. Does it work on both sides, Jeff? As a matter of fact, it does. Right here. Genesis, in the house. Let's open this up. Nice, okay, do we have lighting in here? Absolutely. We sure do, got a couple of them there. So it makes a very bright area at nighttime if you ever have to do any work or maybe get your groceries out. You're set. Now for the interior, to me, this is a very luxurious interior. I like the accent pieces right here. This is upgraded Napa leather because it has the Sport Prestige package on it. That adds about $4,400 to the pricing, but a lot of value. So we might look at that as well. Here we go. Oh, look at that. That's an extra wide moonroof. Let's get on in here. Now, I do not have on the instrumentation we're gonna to get to that. Just wanted to show you what it looks like with the dome lights on. Pretty neat. Where's our blind spot? Right there. Lights up, red triangle, lets you know the coast is clear. Hey, look at that. Right there in the driver's side too. And for this next trick, I've gone ahead and turned off the dome lights so that we could see if we have any backlit lighting. There we go. The window control is lit up. That back lit back. All right, USBs right there, lit up. And then how does the dash look? Oh, that is cool. It's kind of a combination of simplified, but also a lot going on, especially with the HVAC system. We'll show that. Yep, and that's right here. So we can push buttons if we want the air to come out up top, at our face, at our feet. You just adjust it like that really blows out here. Excellent heating and cooling, I think. It's got heated steering wheel. Heated and cooled seats on both sides. That's pretty impressive. And then we've got physical dials here. I love that so that we can control our temperature on each side. Nice. I hope it's nice where you guys are in the world, in the country, wherever. It's 72, 73 today and tomorrow in Raleigh, which is fantastic, I love it. So there's the lighting right there. The best way to show at nighttime what it looks like lit up is pointed at the wheel well. You'll know if there's ambient lighting or illumination. My favorite word in the English language, illumination. There we go. Look at this, we've got electronic parking brake, brake hold, got the 360 camera, 
This actually looks pretty cool at nighttime. The resolution is not bad. It's not bad at all for nighttime viewing. A lot of times it's incredibly grainy. And this one may be so, but for right now it doesn't show that. So that's good. So the drive modes, all lit up, lots of backlit lighting. And then in here we've got our USB connectivity, the wireless charging, that's lit up. What about in here, any lights? Yep, got the USB connectivity in here, lit up. In the driver's panel, in the passenger's panel, what's lit up? Well, it all is. It's actually really cool. Got the power mirror that goes really fast. That's lit up, boom, I like doing that. Back and forth, back and forth. There we go, two memory position seatings. And then these buttons are lit, including the trunk release, the fuel door release. And then here, oh, the steering wheel controls all lit up. And you'd expect that in a vehicle of this caliber. I mean, Genesis, the luxury brand, of course it's gonna have it. What about our drive modes? Sport Plus, Custom, Sport, Comfort, and Eco Mode. Can also change it to different pieces of information. These are the customizable right here in the center. These ones here are fixed. So what else do we have? Push button start, that's nice. And then, let's see, I love this dial right here. You just kind of turn it, or you pull it. It's for the windshield wiper, but it has a lot of substance to it. So it feels a little bit more premium. Our controls right here, they have function, they have lights. So let's go to this one right here and show how we can, beautiful, scenery of the water, the waterfront. Here we go. So you can do setups, connected services, And then all sorts of features here that utilize the many safety features that they have, drive modes, active sound design. So that actually increases the perceived engine and road noise. So you'll hear a little bit more growl. It'll go down and now it'll go up. It goes nothing. And then you hear the head up display, the cluster the climate. So a lot of different things that you can control here. And then this is our head up display. I like the information that it gives here. It even shows blind spot indicator so that if somebody's coming up in your blind spot, it lights up red around the back bumper on whichever side it is. So to me, that's incredibly valuable. The auto dimming mirror, frameless. This is home link for garage door opener programming, but it doesn't have backlighting. And then here we've got our moonroof controls the interior door lighting like that, and then the moonroof controls. Let's see, light, light, SOS button. And this would be, boom, and that. Lighted mirror with slider. Thanks for watching everybody. What do you think about our friend G70? What jumped out at you for lighting? Do you feel like the lighting was appropriate? I love the backlit controls, buttons, dials. That's helpful, really helpful to us. We gotta be able to see, especially when it's low lighting. So anyway, thanks guys so much. I would love it if you hit subscribe to join my channel, Auto Jeff Reviews. We do fun, thorough reviews here of all types. Did a few on this one here. The best gadgets of G70, including drive. We did a walk around with key features and then we did it at nighttime. So we do that with a lot of vehicles. There's a lot to see and a lot to appreciate about all cars. So join the channel and then you'll find different content of mine. You'll see about this on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Thanks guys. See you later. Obviously, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate you all, and be sure to check out the suggested videos. Thanks for being here. Bye.